Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Carpo here, back again with another Call of Duty 4 Blackout video. Now, even though the beta is over, there is still a lot of things, a lot of knowledge that we can acquire from these videos like this one. This video is going to be all about the top 5 landing spots in Call of Duty Blackout. Now, if you're new, if you're returning, this video should be a lot of help, so kick back relax and enjoy now let's get started now coming in at number five is the construction site and what makes this spot awesome is that you have a potential to get a helicopter with the helipad on top but there is just a ton of mods a ton of weapons and a ton of attachments and a whole lot of aid here so get your groove on get your weapons then get out of here now the only downfall is that it is going to be a absolutely ton of enemies whether you're playing solo duos or you're rolling in quads look Keep your head on a swivel. There's going to be a ton of enemies around there. But if you get out of there, you'll be in good shape. Coming in at number four is the estates. Now, the estates have two buildings that you can drop into. Actually, two lovely condos. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. But as you can see right here, it's going to be a ton of enemies. But just like spot number five, you're going to have a ton of weapons, a ton of mods, a ton of aid, and you're going to find yourself a lot, a lot of good weapons. Now, what makes this spot better than the other one is it's not going to be as many enemies spawning in here so if you roll in solo this will be a great spot now, if you're rolling in teams of four you pretty much great spot you might be some team members that still might need some things to pick up like that armor right there but keep your head on the swivel get your kills on and get up out of here and you'll be straight cut up out of the states in that number four spot pretty pretty nice now coming in at the number three spots we have the nuketown island who doesn't love nuketown you know what i mean now if you do decide to spawn in and land at nuketown well there's a few things that you're going to need to know first of all there's going to be a lot of enemies there a lot of enemies on top but you want to head to the bottom first because there is absolutely amazing items that you can get down here. And not only that, hey, it is absolutely beautiful down here in the bunker. You have an opportunity to get major weapons, a lot of aid, and you can pick yourself up some pretty cool armor as well. Now down here, there will be a box somewhere down here, so keep your eye out for it, spot it, Keep your hand on the swivel. Like I said, there will be a ton of enemies. Now, hopefully you can pick up on some enemy kills, pick up on some items, maybe not even enemies that you kill. So like I said, it's going to be a lot of stuff down here that you can get. And that's why this spot is coming in at the number three spot. So keep your head on the swivel or something like this happen. Outgunned, outplayed, and out of luck. Yeah, that happened. Now moving into number two, we are coming up on the Asylum. Now the Asylum is amazing. You have three spots. You got the main house, the back house, and you have your little hidden maze. So if you're going to head into the first house, do what I do. Close that door behind you. Keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be a ton of enemies. Solo duos or quads. This is an amazing area. Yes, zombies can even spawn in here. You could pick up absolutely amazing items every weapon that is in the game can be right at this bad boy right here you got symbol monkeys you have a golden and guns you have zombies you have sensor darts you have everything i mean absolutely everything can spawn right here so if you want to come and be prepared and get you a winner winner chicken dinner this is absolutely an amazing spot that's why it's hands down the number two spot some people might even put it in at number one but it is so many enemies in there and like i said zombies too keep your head on the swivel and get yourself a kill like this and then get up out of there and hopefully you can get a little tea bag and get your winner winner chicken dinner now coming in at number one is the cargo dock the cargo dock is absolutely amazing and it is why it's coming in at number one and there's one reason only it's the trifecta that's right the trifecta the heli 
the golden gun and the three level armor that's right you can get all of these all in one one just like this i don't i can't tell you how many times i didn't spawned in decided to land here and i got absolutely amazing items the helicopter is there quite often so if you're playing quads Look, you get your helicopter, you are on your way to a winner winner chicken dinner. You know what I'm saying? Just watch out for the rocket launchers. Get up out of there and you are on your way to a number one win. Now check this out. Here it is again, me spawning in right here. And there it is, another helicopter. Now this time I did not get the level three armor here, but what makes this spot amazing, and that's why it's coming in at number one, is because if you do decide to get the helicopter, or even if you don't, you can always come over here to the ship. Now this ship, is amazing and has every single mod and attachment you can think of every single time you spawn in it is a bad boy it's going to have every single mod and every single attachment you could think of lots and lots of aid and some pretty good weapons as well they will have some armor laying around here and you quite possibly can pick up on one of the best weapons in the game, and that is that Golden Cordite. Of course, it has the suppressor. Yes, it does work. If you don't believe me, just ask around. This gun is absolutely amazing. And then this run, as you can see right here, I was able to pick me up on one of those bad boys, which actually led me to my first winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right, your boy got that number one win with this. So. All of this is for that win, right? So here we go. Violence can have a purpose. Exactly how we drilled it. Hotel Sierra. Nice. And that's going in for this video. Thank you for everybody for all your love and support. Now get out there and have some fun with Call of Duty 4 Blackout. And I will see y'all soon. Great thing so.